Uh, Jared, six solid innings today. That's a season high for you on the mound. Um, talk about this game. You really pitched with the lead the whole time. That helped out. But talk about how comfortable you were. It was easy up there when the guys go out and score. That runs early for me. And playing with the defense, they played great all day. Max Hargers had some great plays. Cage Golden had great plays. The outfield played well. So my job's easy to go throw strikes. They did well behind me. Now, the Cavaliers came back and beat you guys in game one. They scored a lot of late runs. How important was it to get an early lead? And then how much pressure did you feel to pitch well early on? Uh, it was huge to go score three runs in the first inning and get the momentum back in our dugout. And when, I feel a little pressure to go out there and do well, but when you have a good group of guys behind you, it makes it easier to do that. Uh, what was working for you today um, in terms of getting into a rhythm with your pitches? You put up uh, zeros and in innings three through six there on the mound. You had to be feeling good. A uh, cage and coach, or uh, excuse me, Cade and coach uh, called a great game for me. So it was easy getting a flow. Fastball command was good early, and changeup worked well for me. So it was good to get the that mix going in. And curveball was okay too. You had a little bit of a slow start in your first outing of the year, but since then you've been really good. Last outing against St. Martin, you threw five innings. You built on that through six plus today. Um, what's been feeling good lately overall for you? Um, it was good to get healthy. Kind of had a, an injury there for a while, but just trying to fill the strike zone. That's number one important thing. Throw strikes, get ahead. It's easy from there. And then trust your defense as well. They'll make plays behind you. Uh, Cage, the Yellow Jacks respond and get a big win here in game two against Concordia. Talk about the message in between games. You guys were probably a little bit frustrated letting a lead slip there in game one. Yeah, we just got to bounce back. We can't let the first game define us like that, but obviously we got to protect our home field and come back and get a win like that when they come and beat us in the first game. But um, I think we did really well as a team bouncing back and we came out swinging it. How important was it to grab an early lead here in game two and set the tone? Uh, you just got to build off momentum and uh, building that early lead. That gave us huge momentum for the rest of the game, and we uh, continued through the whole game with that momentum. It was a four-run second inning that gave you guys command. You hit a three-run home run. All four of those runs came with two outs. Talk about that rally and your swing in particular. Yeah, and with two outs, we are just trying to put the ball in play, and um, everybody was swinging the ball, or the bat. <laughs> everybody was swinging the bat well today, and um, we had a good approach that second game. And I think that showed. So you continue the power out of the ninth spot in the lineup. Uh, were you seeing pitches well today overall? Talk about uh, your approach in that plate appearance where you homered. Yeah, nine hole. I mean, still seeing fastballs. Teams keep throwing it to me. But uh, just seeing the ball well, man. I'm trying to put the ball in play. I'm not trying to hit home runs. But they're going out, so I'm OK with that. A very clean game defensively behind Jared Winslow in game two. Um, talk about the defensive effort today. Jared was doing a fantastic job up there, just getting us all ground balls and pop-ups. I mean, they, he didn't give them any opportunities to uh, put any good barrels on balls, and he was doing well up there. Now talk about tomorrow, another doubleheader against Concordia. What's your approach after the split today? Got to come back and uh, defend our home field, man. We got to get two wins tomorrow, and I think we're going to do it. Coach, a strong finish to the day against Concordia. You split a doubleheader. I know the team probably wasn't very happy with the, the way the first game ended, giving up a lot of runs late, but you got to be proud of the way the guys responded in game two. Yeah, that was the challenge. You know, we told the guys in between games is kind of had a gut-wrenching loss there. Uh, felt like we gave one away to those guys, and um, they bounced back. You know, Winslow was outstanding on the mound. You know, really set the tone for us, and, you know, he, he wasn't feeling 100% today, but he, he gutted it out and competed for us and gave us a chance to win. Talk about the defense in game two. Uh, just looked really smooth out there overall, a lot of composure. And there were some tough plays, but the guys uh, kept their heads. Yeah, you know, that, that's, I think, the challenge for us from a defensive standpoint in the beginning of the year is just the reps that we needed. And we're starting to find a groove. Um, guys are starting to show some confidence out there defensively. Um, and in turn, that's giving our pitchers a lot of confidence to pitch to contact. Um, hopefully, we can continue to do that the rest of the weekend. Talk about the rhythm the team had at the plate today. It seemed like quite a few runs were scored with two outs. You guys really rallied on several different occasions. Yeah, that's a big thing for us in our offense is, you know, two out RBIs, you know, two out hitting, keep them out there on the field. Um, we did a great job. I, I told our guys that they showed a lot of discipline at the plate. They weren't throwing at bats away. Um, the challenge is if, if they can repeat that. Um, having success, guys can kind of tend to get away from their approach and plan, and, and hopefully they can hone in and continue to do that tomorrow. You brought him up earlier, but talk a little bit about Jared Winslow building on the, his two best starts of the year, uh, his last one and then again today, for him to take the ball and, and really set you guys up to win this one. Yeah, Jared, uh, you know, he's kind of a veteran for our staff. Um, he's got a lot of experience last year as a freshman. Um, so whenever he gets the ball, he throws a lot of strikes. He keeps our defense in tune, pitches at a very good tempo. Um, he's a little banged up early in the year, so it's good to see him starting to get stronger as the season gets going. Um, and we like our chance every time we hand him the baseball. 
And your thoughts heading into another doubleheader against Concordia on Sunday. What's the approach there? Uh, keep what we did this last game. You know, again, it's about what we do as a club, and if we can continue to have quality at bats, throw strikes as a pitching staff, I think we'll have a, a pretty good day tomorrow.